I believe that there's inequity when it comes to how we access internet and technology, especially in developing countries where women are, and girls are struggle to access internet. And equal access affects uh, women and girls in STEM in different ways, one of them being that they miss a lot of opportunities that are listed online, such as job opportunities, research opportunities and learning opportunities. Uh, looking back two years ago, uh, everything went digital and we were not expecting it. Like schools were digital, markets were digital, everything was online. So when women in STEM don't have access to internet or uh, don't have access to technology tools, it really affects their career. Like if you can't get a job uh, that is listed online, if you can't ac get access to uh, an online content or online material that is going to help you in your studies, it really affects your uh, career path. And I think that this can be solved in different ways. Another thing that I think is most important in helping women in STEM is uh, creating a platform for them to connect and express the issues that are affecting them. Um, uh, we've seen people uh, address issues that exist, uh, but when people into those issues are the ones talking about the issues they are facing, it becomes easy for the world to know which issues are there, like for real. When these girls talk about the issues they're facing, we're going to get a clear picture of what's happening in this uh, STEM or ICT. Um, courses so we want to give these girls a space for them to talk about the issues they're facing and also to um, talk about how we can work together to solve these challenges. I founded uh, and I host a podcast called Impact Generation Podcast which is about raising awareness on issues of inequity that young people face. Uh, particularly in education. I believe that platforms like this podcast give uh, women and girls uh, a, a space to talk about the issues they're facing in their education and also a platform for them to talk about the solutions can, that can be brought up in order to deal with uh, the issues that they are facing. So the strategy that I use is to reach out to as many people as possible and then try to create impact. So for me, I think the, uh, what I'm doing to bridge the gap is to give these girls and uh, women a platform to talk about the issues in education and how these issues can be um, solved.